Hello YouTube and welcome to your 23rd Visual C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering Boolean values. Now in my previous tutorial, one of my subscribers said that I haven't covered Boolean values yet. So I decided to go ahead and make a short little video explaining that before we move on to more advanced stuff. Now you can see here that I have a simple console application opened up. So let's go ahead and start creating the program that uses the Boolean value. Now Boolean value has two possible values. You have true and false. Now this is uh, very helpful for um, a bunch of different things. I can't really think of, of them right now. But if you only store yes or no or true or false, you can use a Boolean value. So let's go ahead and create some variables. So I'm going to do string answer, string name, and string, let's see, password. And now we're going to make the Boolean value. So to do that, you just type bool, and let's just go ahead and um, create a, a name for it. So let's just say um, auto save. So now let's tell the user, um, prompt the user to type something in. So to do that, we'll just use this simple console dot right line, and we'll say, do you want to auto save your credit? credentials and we'll just give them some options yes or no now what we want to do is we want to get their response so answer is going to be equal to console dot read line and we also want to convert that to lowercase so that they can type whatever they want um, capital Y, e, lowercase e, lowercase s, or lowercase y, capital E, lowercase s, whatever they want, as long as it means yes, um, it will give us the output. Now, here's something that um, is just one of those things that I can't make a whole video on, but I just want to throw it in this video. So what you can do is, let's say the user types a space inside of their uh, answer. So let's say they do yes with a space and then press enter. Well, when we use an if statement to check if it equals yes, that's not going to work because there's going to be a space at the end. Or it might work, I don't know. Um, but what you want to do um, to get rid of that space is type answer dot trim. Now what this is going to do is it's going to remove all leading and trailing white space characters. This basically means take out the spaces at the front or the end of the um, the variable or the string. Okay, so now that we have trimmed our answer, let's go ahead and create an if statement. So if answer equals yes, then what do we want to do? Well, let's go ahead and set autosave equal to true. So now it's going to autosave everything. So up here, let's just go ahead and assign autosave to false to begin with. Because if they say no, it's going to be false. And this will uh, keep us from having to write an else if saying if answer equals no, then um, change it to false. So by starting off with false, we can simplify our code. So now we have the autosave. So let's go down here and we'll just say console.write line. What is your name? And we'll do name equals console.read line. And let's go ahead and trim that. Now that we have created that, let's go ahead and put that inside of an if statement. So if autosave equals true, then we'll go ahead and assign name to whatever they type in. And if it's not, then it's not going to assign anything. So else if, or let's just do else, console.readline. So let's go ahead and run this and see how it works. 
do you want to auto save your credentials yes or no so let's just go ahead and type yes what is your name Sam okay so you can see that close now let's just go ahead and write out name to the screen and just to prevent any errors from happening let's go ahead and assign name so that if the user doesn't type anything or if they say they don't want to save the credentials it won't give us an error for trying to print out an empty string so do you want to auto save your credentials yes what is your name Sam you can see that it printed out Sam we'll do that one more time so you can type yes what is your name Sam and you can see it prints out my name now if I press no and then type my name it's just going to say that the name is null because it's not saving it for us. So go ahead and play around with Boolean values. Um, once you get used to them, um, they're really easy to understand. Just move on to the next tutorial and we're going to be continuing with Windows Forms and other stuff like that. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.